What's up, everybody? Day 11, I am going to meet a lender. But first of all, I'm going to go run by the bank. I'm going to meet a lender and see what they got to offer to some of the clients that we have. And just to get to le learn a little bit more about the mortgage industry. Uh, we're going to go to lunch at County Cousin Vinny's over in Daphne. And this morning, I got the great chance to take Harper to school. And then I took Eleanor over to Grammy, and she was kind of upset because she thought she was going to go to school. But she's doing school at Grammy's house, so I think she got over it. I think she figured it out. She's not going to the actual school, but she's pumped. But she said Bayshore, was, she saw the slides, and I was like, oh, are you going to go there next year? And she was, said, yay. She was excited. Uh, at JPAR today, they have a, I did miss a webinar I was kind of upset about that I can restart over for the KB Core, but at JPAR they have the the training going on, the Jumpstart training, and I did, I did it last month, and today it's kind of the same thing. Um, the rest of the week, there's some different stuff that I'm gonna go attend and meet up with, hopefully, I mean, not meet up, but Jason Will is teaching it, and I'm excited to be able to go talk with him and hang out with him. It's always a pleasure to be around. And then on Friday, gonna do a one-on-one -on -one session with them and you figure out how to sign up for it um, it's a 30-minute session I think every anytime you get 30 minutes with somebody it's always a good thing um, so this week I'm gonna try and come up with some questions to ask and try and plan out my day have them help me out with my days and try and do like five on five off like five in the office and five out of the office and then of course Sundays we're gonna do the open houses um, and ask them like what to do with the open house leads that already have um, a realtor. I was thinking about just putting them on my email list and uh, sending them out newsletters and just basically keeping in contact with them so that way, what if their realtor ever moves away or something like that, then I'll be next on their mind, which would be, that'd be ideal situation even if it's you know two, three years down the road, maybe a year, two, three years, doesn't matter. They come back to me, it'd be awesome. The open house went pretty good yesterday. It was fun. The uh, I was kind of nervous about getting people to sign in. And I told myself afterwards, I only had two people sign in. I had like five couples show up. And I really need to get everybody signed in. Like that's just the thing that they're gonna have to do. They're just gonna be sign in. And then we could talk about the, or talk about the house a little bit and then sign in before you leave, either one. But basically just everybody gets signed in and that way I can keep track of who all came in and what if one of them calls Marcus and I don't have that number or calls the realtor, calls that listing agent, I don't even have the information on them. Like, so my new, my new plan is for an open house, I'm gonna have some scratch paper, I'm gonna have them sign in and I'm gonna write down little, some notes about each one of them. Even if they have a realtor or not, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna write down some quick notes I could put into KB Core. So just in case somebody calls somebody and Marcus needs to have a question answered, I can tell them. I can figure out who I was talking to by putting in the notes and having them in the KB Core system. It's gonna be a little bit more work, but I think it'll pay off in the end, just having some basic notes and just getting everybody to sign in. And it's just like going in and get, you know, some places have haircuts or, you know, all sorts of different places will make you sign in for just anything. And most people are more than willing to sign in. Um, so that's kind of what I learned yesterday. I like to try and learn something from every interaction that I do. In the past two open houses, I've definitely learned a lot. Actually, all four open houses. One, two of them I did with uh, one of the coworkers. And then one, two, one of them, I did two by myself. And each one I learned a little bit more each time. I did bring Nutri-Grain bars. Nutri-Grain bars are not popular. Apparently homemade cookies are way more popular than Nutri-Grain bars. So there's that, I learned, uh, learned that one. Nobody took any water, which wasn't like super duper hot, which was okay. Um, here I am pulling up to the bank. Mr. Law Enforcement doesn't know which way he's going. I'm gonna pull up to the commercial one because I have one commercial check and three personal checks. Hopefully pretty soon it'll be a check from real estate. These are pretty much the last checks from the gym that I got. Excited to deposit them. 
And, uh... Uh-oh. Now I got some more deposit slips. But anyways, I am going to jump off here. I might jump back on because I'm going to drive to Daphne. But I'm going to jump off here because I got to get the account numbers and stuff. And I don't want y'all watching. Just something being bored. Well, hold on. Let's see what this what happens. Is it like completely go away? What uh, What's going on with your day today? I'm actually at the bank. Hi, Britt. I was just talking about my open house I had yesterday. Anyways, I'm back. All right, let's see here. So I'm gonna go, I was telling everybody I was gonna go meet a lender too over at uh, Cousin Vinny's Pizzeria. I'm not eating pizza today though, but he might. I think I might've found some Oh man, some shoes to wear. I remember asking some people about some shoes. And I did sign up to the Stitch Fix. It actually worked out pretty good, the last last outfit I got. Um, that's that one. checks all right so anyways my new plan like I said I was gonna learn something from every everyone that every open house I've done I've definitely learned a lot definitely learning as I go hold on one second sorry Like I'm gonna learn from this. Don't go to the bank and try and uh, do a live on, at the bank. Seven, eight, 40, 04. All right, here we go. Is anybody, anybody on here that has uh, lenders that are local that I could go meet, you know, in Eastern Shore, Daphne, uh, Pensacola, not, not Pensacola, but um, Fairhope, Daphne, anywhere in there. I'd love to be able to go meet some new lenders. I really want to figure out if I, I don't know if I have any... I know I have some realtor friends on here. I don't know if anybody's going to be watching. But what else do you do to get leads or try and find people to talk to to let you let them know that you're, you're a realtor? Anybody running Facebook ads? Anybody doing anything like that? There's all sorts of different things that you can do to get leads and... You know, all sorts of different things. And one of the things I want to do is, does anybody on here know any local businesses that would like to be interviewed, like podcast style, or even through the phone, like through video? We could, I'm, I mean, I could do Zoom, or I could go to them and just highlight their business. I would love to get a contact to start my first one. I've done one with uh, a pressure washer, Mr. Brandon. I'm going to post it probably tomorrow. I was supposed to post it yesterday. Or I might post it on Monday so that way I can post it in the the different different pages, like the what if or the whiff page and things like that. But I really want to start interviewing some local businesses just to highlight them. And I kinda of wanna start getting into um, some lists, like things to do in Fairhope. So if you know anything to do in Fairhope or the Eastern Shore, let me know. And uh, I'll put it write it down and I'll put it on the list and I'm not sure if I'm going to blog about it, but I'm definitely going to... I'll probably blog. I'll probably do something with that. Or put a Facebook up. Uh, somewhere around there. Definitely want to do a podcast about it. I want to start... Not turning the podcast into all local, but... I want to be able to... Bring in local... P 
people from the pod to into the podcast that will fit in with that will help with real estate and with personal development and just you know becoming a better person overall this might have been a bad idea it's supposed to be at the cousin Vinny's is 19 minutes away and it's uh 1208 it's supposed to be there at 1230 so we're gonna see what happens Has anybody else figured out like what the best shoes is to wear for business casual with shorts? I haven't I've only had one person try and tell me. I was thinking like some loafers or something like that. I really need to go to the store. By now. Oh, and another exciting thing that happened today is that we did another newborn session for a couple out of Pensacola and it turned out really awesome. It was a pre he was premature quite a while. He's, I think she was supposed to be 38 weeks this week, and so he's already a month old. And the baby just, he was an awesome baby. He just slept the whole time. Pretty much put him in whatever position we needed to to get the shot. And the mom watched the whole time and just had a good time. We did have to do one feeding, which wasn't too bad. He ate pretty good. And then went right back to right back to sleep. Didn't pee on anything. Didn't poop on anything. So overall, it was definitely a success. And I think we're gonna have some awesome shots. Once we get the shots done, I will post some on my Instagram, and I'm gonna post it on Facebook. Um, super fun. It was actually a good time this time. It wasn't like super hot, but I will tell you that shusher, when you're not really doing anything, it sure does make you tired. It makes you just want to make you start yawning and just go to sleep. I'm telling you, like we need to bring it in before bed and just be like, let's turn it on, see how fast we can go to sleep. And it's only on for thirty minutes, so you wouldn't be able to like keep you asleep or like if you woke up in the middle of the night and just stay to sleep. Is anybody? What does anybody do for their sleep schedule or sleep? Trying to stay asleep, so I still wake up like one to two times a night. I've heard all sorts of different things of wear masks, uh, less water, eat earlier, all sorts of different techniques. Of course, no TV before bed. Wife's not going to let that one happen. Um, what else do y'all do? Does anybody else do anything else for their bedtime routine? Ours is pretty much get the kids ready for bed, either shower or get ready for bed. Um, sometimes I read, then watch TV for about 30 minutes. Yes, hi. Hey, Hank, watch TV for about 30 minutes, and then we uh, turn it off. Try and go to bed around 9, 9.30. Well, it's actually better now that the sun's going down, because when the sun was going down at 9 o'clock, the kids would want to stay up till 9. We weren't getting to bed till 9.30, quarter to 10. So now the sun's going down, it's dark at 8 o'clock, so we can get the kids in bed at 8, and then they can go to bed and then we could get ready and usually get in bed about 8 45 coming up by 9 then we can watch tv for 30 minutes and then go to sleep so that's been nice that's been a good change from the full-on summertime and of course once it starts getting darker it's gonna be easier to get the kids in bed and with the school going they're getting more and more tired which is nice once they actually fall asleep before it was like a nightmare they'd be up for like 45 minutes to an hour after we put them in bed Anyways, the uh, almost done here at the bank. They are depositing the checks right now. And like I said, anybody that knows any um, mortgage lenders that would love to talk to me about getting some new business for my real estate clients, I would love to be able to go talk to them and meet with them, especially local ones here in town. I want to start doing more face-to-face. -face. And Hank, if you know any businesses, I don't know if you're still watching, but if you know any businesses that want to get interviewed either podcast style zoom or face to face in a video i would love to meet with somebody small business something like that just to highlight them one day on my facebook page go meet them do a little interview 15 20 minute interview and then chop up the video a little bit and then put them on uh, facebook or you know the different groups just basically highlighting a business and getting to know the business and letting the local community know about their business too. Um, 
Anyways, I'm gonna jump off here. They're taking a little bit. It's already twelve fourteen. I'm probably gonna have to call the lender up and let them know I'm running a little bit late. But anyways, I really appreciate everybody that jumped on here, and thank you. And I'll be back on tomorrow. I'm not missing any more days. I missed that one day. I'm not missing any more. Even if I'm on vacation, we're gonna be talking on Facebook. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.